So this other poem I wrote almost two years ago, um, May 14th, 2010. I just made a few changes over the years, especially today. It's called End of an Affair. Goodbye, United States. It's clear you don't want me. The mayor of Albuquerque proclaimed sanctuary for ICE officials in the city's jails. He gave La Migra the right to harass our sisters and brothers off the street, just as AP does on the streets. Farewell, U.S. Arizona's cancer is spreading internally. First, that sheriff plays like he's a bad 19, like he's in a bad 1940s Hollywood movie. Then he doesn't investigate more than 400 sex crimes where the victims were brown and dozens were children. Today, 21-year-olds can walk Arizona with a concealed weapon, a low, concealed and loaded weapon, without a permit. But students can't read books like Occupied America because America isn't occupied. <laughs> I knew it was over back in Cali, Uncle Sam. You want to send my children who've grown up here to places they've never been, or are too young to remember. I knew it was over years ago when I found the numbers, 187, 209, lining your pockets. I was a fool to think I could change you. But now, basta ya, no mas. I know you don't like it when I speak Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> you studied in Spain where their Spanish sounds like French or Italian, where they look French or Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I'm tired of having a second class accent in your ears and a third world body in your hands. Come on, Sammy. No one can say we didn't try. <laughs> you tried to conquer me, I tried to survive you. Since it's over, defender of the free world, since we're done, through with each other finally, I've spoken to my family, the ones who tend the yards, clean the pools, deliver the mail, answer the phones, make the copies, move the furniture, drive the trucks, fix the cars, cash the checks that the banks won't. Just so you know, my brothers told our cousins who picked all that produce in the fields, slaughtered the hogs and cattle, cooked dishes from around the world, then washed them. And you know I talk to my sisters every day. They're waiting at their sewing machines, computer terminals, and jumbo dryers. Our aunts and uncles are standing by their vacuum cleaners and shampooers on the office floors. My nieces and nephews have stopped asking, may I help you? You want fries with that? Yes, they're waiting for you. This is our border between our past and our future. Our past where you invaded and our future where you're evicted. <laughs> Telling me who to love, how many children I can have, and all the rest 
of your restrictions, rules, laws, then yes, they're all true. You're right. I've never changed. And God, mine, you can have yours back. <laughs> Only knows that I've been praying for this day since the first book banning on our land. When your cousin burned my codexes. Yes. Yep. So Defender, I suggest you call your primo, because I'm going to bed, <laughs> to sleep, to dream the sweetest dream, freedom. Thank you.